Okay, so let's cut this pipe right in half. I think I'll try another blade. Okay, here we go. This is much better. Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today I'm going to show you a low cost alternative for making a flagpole. And I've uh, designed this all myself. It's all my own idea. And it's very basic. It's nothing pretty. I don't do pretty on my channel. And I'm going to show you over here the whole idea behind it. And this is probably about the lowest cost, I would say, flagpoles that you could make. And for me, they're going to be for up at my camp up in Northern Ontario. And my whole one side of the garage is going to be covered with flags. And uh, I'm going to show you here on the bench the whole idea behind it. And uh, how this all goes together and how you can build this yourself. Well, let's start off with the materials here. And I'll just pan back and forth. And, of course, we have a 10-foot uh, piece of PVC conduit. And uh, then we've got the 3 quarter inch piece of metal conduit, thin wall conduit. And you've seen that I cut four pieces off. So these two pieces will go right here. And these two pieces will go right here. And that's where you're going to attach your flag. And it's very simple. All I did was cut them 10 foot lengths right in half. So they're 5 feet right now. And let's get on to this part right here. And you could see how these have a little bit of play in them. But that's fine. But we're going to fasten these down from here to here. And leave a specific space in between right there. And I'm going to show you the reason behind that. And uh, let's get to it. And let's fasten these down in a particular orientation to match the flags. Okay, what I'm using right here is a 9 64ths, but you could use a uh, 1 8 or whatever size rivet you're going to put in because we're using rivets. And I just got two of them here. I'll just show you. I'm just going to put it right in the center there. And we'll just punch in a couple of holes. And this will make it easier so when you're going into the uh, conduit, so let's attach it to the conduit next. Okay, so I just got this right on the end here, just holding it. And uh, now this conduit is pretty thin, so as you can see, it's easy to punch a hole through there. And next, we'll put a rivet in. Okay, you ready? We'll just line it up here. There we go. And that's all you need is just that one rivet. So now I'm going to do the next one here. But first of all, i got to show you what the spacing is. Now, whatever type of, you know, zip tie you have or tie strap that you're using, I'm using this one because it's fairly thick. So you want to have one that is not too tight when you put the next one in here. So it'll swivel on this. And that's what I'm going to do, so you can see. So I'm going to have to measure this right like here, and then I'll put the rivet in here, and I'll do it as we get down to the end. Now when you get further down, depending on the size of your flag, you're going to have to adjust these to fit your flag, right? I've noticed some flags are not universal on their grommets from one location to the next, depending on your flag supplier. But I'll bring you back when this is done, and I'll show you how it fits. Well, this is what we got right here, and it's very simple. Now, you can see here, I got two of these uh, zip ties in here. And that's only because I wanted to make sure that I could use these if I had to, two of them, instead of one of the other. So, we'll get down to here, and I'll show you. Yeah, I've got one of these big, heavy-duty ones. And it just fits in there. And you could see there is some slack in there, right? And I wanted to make sure that there was some slack. The last thing you need is to have this all bind up on you. So that's pretty much it right there. And the only thing we have to do now is the end. How are you going to mount this? So depending on what you're mounting it to, like for me, I'm mounting it on the side of my garage, which is a wooden stud. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Well, what we got here is just a plain spruce 2x4. It's 11 inches long, and I've marked it here at one and a half inches 
before the end. And on my miter saw here, I got it set at 33 and a half. Now you can pick your angle, whatever angle you like, but I'm gonna go with that one. So let's cut it right off now. Well, this is the setup right here. I'm using a one inch wood bit and you just mark it off here at your 45 degree angle. And most flags they recommend to have them at a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna drill a 45 degree angle through this piece of wood. Okay, you get the idea. I'm gonna finish drilling it through there and then I'll show you what we got going on next. Okay, this is the setup here and all I've done was screw this little piece onto here with screws from the back. Make sure you don't put a screw in the center, right? Okay, so all I've did is just kind of eyeball it and line it up. Okay, you got the idea. I'm gonna finish drilling that hole all the way through and you'll see what it looks like. Well, this is it right here and you can see I used a longer bit, but you could use a shorter one too, it's fine. And it fits right in there and fits right straight through there and comes out the back. Now I'm gonna tell you something, unless you get that angle right on, you're gonna to have to use one of these. And what I did, just a rasp, and I had to just, uh, on the bottom side here, just get the correct angle. And of course, this will come through here, and this will be on the uh, face of my garage. So all I'm going to do now is put in a couple of screw holes. One here, one here, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Well, there you go. That's it right there. And that's the uh, one of the flags that I have. I already have three flags. And you can see here how it's going to be positioned. Of course, it won't stick out the end there because it'll be the wall of my garage there. And there's the two fasteners that I'm going to use, the big long screws. Now, I am going to treat this so it doesn't all rust and that kind of stuff. But uh, that's pretty well it right there. And I just stuck in a couple of small ties for now because I'm not going to take it up north like this. I'm going to just cut these ties off after. But uh, there she is right there. Well, what do you think? I can make each one of these flagpoles for under 10 bucks. It's galvanized, it's gonna last a long time, and of course, the piece is on the end. Now, if you take a look at the piece on the end here, well, you can fabricate one of them up in like 10 minutes, you know, if it were to break or anything like that. Very easy to install. And the good part about this particular flag build is if you're going on a brick wall or anything else, well, you can fabricate your own end to suit your needs, and that's the best part. But I mean, this idea of using the, uh, the PCV conduit, guys, this is the way to go. It's weatherproof. I do have a flag up at the camp, the Canadian flag. This is going next to it. And uh, I have two other, two other ones as well. You're gonna see them in the summertime. But just the one rivet is all you really need, and this will just swivel on this nice, now the one that I have up there is a store-bought one, and you know what? It binds, it, uh, well, it's cheesy. And I thought, you know what? If you want something, you know, to last and to be at least half decent, I mean, it doesn't look like a million bucks, but you know what? Neither do I. So here you go. This is it right here. I hope you like it. And if you've never seen this channel before, well, you're going to see a lot more stuff like this in the future. So you guys take care. Thanks for watching, and come back again now, eh? Cheers.